Welcome to the podcast, live from Canberra today, and we're here at the Ovolo now, Hotel. Now, can we talk about what's going on? You are... You, you've been cracking on to me all day. Yeah, the sexual tension the is sexual tension. It's starting to really... I've got a boyfriend. Well, I couldn't ever fall for Ricky after seeing as much of her feet as I have today. <laughs> and the little ankle socks and all that stuff. That's like, you're beautiful. Oh but you said, beautiful. You said, so said you wanted to see but... more of my ankle, so I've like, I've, mm-hmm. I, I, I peeled off the sock. Oh, in a really sensual way, like a banana. Yeah. Um, so I guess it leaves you, Buster. I know, and I can I can tell it's like the way you've, you'd be sort of been like picking at me at the whole show, but I know you you really want to be like picking at me. Yeah, I know. He yeah. wants to be cuddling you. Yeah. 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 I actually ordered some chocolate covered um, strawberries up to your room for oh, later. Oh heaven, <laughs> that's cute. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I downloaded the gr- I think it's pronounced is it gr- Grinder. Oh, oh, the, oh, yeah, the, the gr- grind. Well, from all reports, Grinder goes off in Canberra. Hey, yeah, I know. hey. Toby, Toby, Palms, Palms, hey, hey, Brooklyn, hey. Brooklyn. Yeah, what if Toby, 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 Toby finds out? <laughs> also, did you, did you did they clean your room enough? Was it okay? Did they get the kasha out? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I could hear the steam up going first thing this also, morning. Yeah, was it I know. was, was the event nickname. in your room, <laughs> no, Jermaine? Room. It wasn't in your room. Did you, I, did you know what? I'm so proud of you. Like, yes. I'm actually so proud of you. Good on you. But also, can I say Living something? Your best single life, It's meant babe. to be a team trip. I keep what, what, chuffing off to... Oh, my God. <laughs> it, it was his free time. <laughs> and also, you wouldn't stop talking. So, fair enough. Of course, he's going to go and, you know, get some of that hot <laughs> Canberra... Boutet. Boutet. Oh, that's a good one. You should put that in your new stand up show. <laughs> oh, well, you're um, not coming. Well, also, you, did, <laughs> really? you, did you all see the you picture of the, hot, the Canberra Boutet that um, <laughs> Jermaine got when... She arrived. I haven't seen. I actually haven't seen. How did that not come across my desk? I should have approved. It was, all. It it was it in your own yelling. social interactions. It was like, "Ho, ho, um, ho!" Please enjoy the podcast and our lovely show from Canberra today. Let's kick off with our prime minister, shall we? Yes. <laughs> this is Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel. It's Ricky Lee, it's Tim Blackwell, it's Joel Creasy, it's the gang. Yo, yo. Yes, guilty as charged. Today I feel uh, Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Tim to the best I love. I think this could be the best show ever. This is the best show in my whole life. Hanging out with friends. Wow. With the up and about party show. Turn it up, Tim. Oh, yeah. Uh, here we go. Hey, I'm nude under this. Watch out. If that's the way it's going to be. Oh, my God, guys. We are finally here at the ACT, the oh. Capital Territory. Oh my gosh, you could have warned me we were starting. I just had a big bowl of chips in my mouth. What is, what, what is that that you were just sh- nailing? Uh, chips? A room no, that chips. drink. What's in that drink? Oh, it's a coffee. Oh. Yeah, I mean, chips and coffee Cup is a drink? weird combo. Yeah, coffee and chips. But hey, when, 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 when in Canberra? <laughs> that's the Barnaby Joyce diet. Oh, that's loose. <laughs> that is loose. You're so loose. I love Canberra. I, I, I came here a lot as a child. Did you? Yes. Questacon, which we went to today. We'll talk oh about that. Oh, my gosh. So Old much Parliament fun. House on the steps. Those kept quotes. kept pointing it out, yes. Those quotes from Gough Whitlam. I oh, know. yes. You seemed very old when you kept saying all those things. Joel yes. and I don't know what you're talking about. God save the Queen, but nothing will save the Governor General. <laughs> Etc. Et no, it's we, we're having a great time. We had a little... Um, uh, uh, Sprinter van out here last night. Oh, it was so much Great fun. Great playlist, Ricky Lee. Thank you very much. I tried to play something that would make everyone happy. I know, but whenever it wasn't a Tim song, he'd go, ooh. Right. Well, not necessarily, but all the Tony Braxton stuff made me want to jump out of the car. Well, you should have. Yeah, we wouldn't we were mind. Listening to Unbreak some fun. my heart by driving over my face. We were, we were <laughs> playing some cool 90s R&B. Yes, I don't know if I like that. You don't like anything that's not. Well, you know what I don't like, like right now? Watching your feet, like looking at your actual feet while we're doing a radio show we around are, the country yes. from Canberra. We are in the uh, the Ovalo, yeah. And um, Ricky is doing the show from bed well, with I, ankle well, socks on. Well, <laughs> I wanted to put the ankle sock half hanging off one of my toes just to piss you off. Does this make you happy? <laughs> oh my god! You know what makes me happy tonight? If you are listening in Melbourne right now, or potentially even on your way to Melbourne, Taylor Swift's first Australian show oh tonight. My goodness. And I believe hours away. I believe still this is the record, her biggest show ever. Yes, yeah. Oh, I wonder if she's nervous. Good call. She's in the dressing room with her mom at the moment. I saw on her Instagram. Was that a current video or was that an old video from a fan account? No comment. <laughs> um, if you would like to join us on the show today, one hundred dollars thanks to Shell Cold Express, a gift card. But you know what we're doing next? What? I'm pumped because I can see this man's 
office from here. Is that what you were doing before? Oh you were doing God. an old man story? I'm looking, yeah, I was doing oh an old man gosh. Instagram story. Hello, Albo. Hey, Albo. We can see Parliament House from here. Next, the man of the moment. He proposed. I know, beautiful. To beautiful Jody. To Jody on Valentine's Day. We're going to chat to him next, and I'm going to try and, I guess, put my case forward for being his wedding DJ. Yes. Okay. Are you going to suggest some songs? Sure. No Tony Braxton. <laughs> Make my heart. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Let's go. On Nova. Can you believe it? We are live in Canberra and we have a very special guest with us. It is time to speak to the Prime Minister of this country. Oh my, oh goodness. my gosh. What a big week he's had. We can see oh. your office from here, Prime Minister Hello, Anthony Prime Albanese. Minister. Hey. Prime Minister. Hey, how are you going? We're very good. good. How are you? Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes, congrats. Very well. Thank you very much. I'm I'm very excited. I've got to say it's been a, a whirlwind time. Oh, how romantic. I, yeah, I can't. We're very excited for the wedding. We've got lots of ideas We've got for grand you. plans for you because, um, and look, you know, keep in mind, you know I'm, I'm in your electorate when you answer this question, Albo, <laughs> but do you need a wedding DJ even just for a portion of the ceremony? Well, it, it, we, we could well. We haven't uh, been, had the opportunity to really sit down and talk any details yet because uh, I'm uh, on my way to uh, Newcastle now and, uh, on the weekend. Then I'll be in Nowra and then in Perth, uh, the nature of things. And uh, Jody wasn't uh, preparing for the... Oh, the big question. So she's uh, separately working today. Oh wow! So you've popped the question and you've popped off. (laughs) Classic (laughs) prime minister behaviour. I had Parliament the day after, but what better day to do it than February the fourteenth? Can I ask you a question? Because you know, I think Jacinda Ardern might have been the first prime minister to have a baby while elected. Yeah. Are you the first Australian prime minister to propose? And potentially Surely. even get married. I am, and I had I had a lovely exchange with Jacinda actually, uh, where she sent me a text message saying uh, because she was engaged but never got around to getting married until <laughs> after she would left the, the job. She said, "I hope you work out how to get married uh, while prime minister because I could never uh, get that done." And I sent her back a message saying. Yes, but you did give birth, which is pretty true. <laughs> true, but and the fanfare uh, would be so wonderful. She said there was there was that, so to give her due credit, but uh, it hasn't happened uh, before. Uh, so it, uh, it it will be uh, a first. Certainly, it's the first engagement, which well, is we, very we know- exciting. We know you're working very hard. You're off to Nara and Perth. Well, that, we can see your classic, office right now. The blinds that are down. Route. Yeah, we can, yeah, we can see you t- 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 <laughs> tapping away. But do you get a chance to have like a just a rom- romantic night with with Jody, like to celebrate the proposal? Uh, we we haven't yet. <laughs> so we, oh, we so perhaps uh, perhaps tomorrow night is yeah uh, maybe I a Netflix and the, chill. Uh, the uh, the opportunity uh, that. Uh, that might might arise, but you can get really loose night. and steal some of Barnaby Joyce's medication oh and really gosh. crack on. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'll, I'll let that go through to the keeper. Uh, Absolutely, have, it was just a suggestion. Uh, just a suggestion. We did have a lovely night there. I know you're in Canberra. We had a lovely night Wednesday night at uh, Italian and Sons for dinner, and then uh, back at the lodge for the proposal. I I, I worked out quite wisely that it was uh, not uh, the sort of situation whereby I could propose in public. So no, no. We did, no. It. No. We did well, it privately also... with, with Toto yeah. as the witness. Oh, oh that's Were you nervous? I was incredibly nervous because we'd never discussed oh. it uh, at all. <gasps> oh, yeah, that would have been awkward. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I uh, had the, the, the ring made, so it would have been a bit awkward uh, if <laughs> if she didn't say yes, yes I would have said yes. How, how does how does the prime minister of our country go about buying a diamond ring and designing a diamond low. ring? Yeah, yeah, like you can't just pop into a shop. Well, I got it from uh, Tironi's, which is there in Leichhardt in my electorate, 
and uh, he's Brilliant. got known for many years. He's an amazing jeweller, and he employs these extraordinary artists, and has always employed apprentices. And I really admire the way that he is so passionate about an Australian industry, and yes. he you know, exports to the world as well as supplies. Uh, here in Australia, and it's all Australian products. So I sat down uh, discreetly with uh, him, and uh, it's a family business. Uh, they employ quite a lot of artists, but sat down with him and his daughter, and we uh, all there and went through what it would look like, the design, and then we um, exchanged uh, ideas about that. And they put it together, and that's special because it's uh, uh, one of a kind, which is the sort of work that uh, Tironi produces. And yes. it's made, made in Grainler in the inner west of Sydney, which uh, is, uh, I'm really proud of as well. Yeah, it's nice. a beautiful ring. Uh, um, Prime Minister, I'm desperate to get my, um, my, my boyfriend of eight years to propose. Um, any tips? Or can you just force him on the radio, please? <laughs> I reckon just um, talk, up, talk up what happened this week. Say, oh, the Prime oh, Minister yes. proposed. Prime Minister yes. proposed to his partner as a sign that they love each other and want to spend the rest of their life together. Well, what, what do you think about that it be nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you can play that in the background, the beat. That's voice. a perfect idea. <laughs> perfect. It's right up your alley. Now, can I, can I ask you, because we are in Canberra, I want some just a few recommendations yes. for a Friday night, the three of us to just be kicking on after the show tonight at six. Where should we go to have a little cocktail and potentially even have dinner? Yeah, we're very well behaved. Yes. Ah, uh, well, um... Brad has uh, been uh, been in the news lately, but there are some yes. really nice uh, craft breweries and places around there. Fantastic restaurants around Braddon or around uh, the Kingston Foreshores is a pretty cool yep. place uh, as well. I don't, I don't get to go out anymore uh, at all. Uh, my life's very uh, very uh, stayed these days. Uh, but, do you do you miss uh, that? Do you miss just being able to pop down to a restaurant and and hang out with some friends and just do normal I, things like that? What I miss is not being able to do it spontaneously. Uh, yes. So yeah, just drop into the pub and I I do miss uh, just hanging out in Marrickville, uh, uh, like I used to be able to do. You could just drop up the road and get a uh, a Vietnamese soup or. A, uh, a kebab. <laughs> well, I, I was furious you on your behalf. You really do that anymore. I was furious on your behalf. You went out for just a, a Chinese uh, dinner the other night and everyone got their knickers in a knot about it. And I was like, <laughs> let the man eat. Let him go for dinner. <laughs> yeah, no, it, 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 it does get a bit ridiculous. I got a, uh, a Vietnamese pork roll uh, one uh, day there at the famous uh, Marrickville pork roll. Oh, shop, the best, and it the was best. This, Controversy. How can you afford I know. Yeah. Don't, don't, I mean, we need our Prime Minister eating. He needs, he's a very busy <laughs> some man. Of it, some of it is a bit ridiculous, but you just got to let trolls be trolls and ignore all that. Uh, oh, and, uh, wise words. On, wise words. Get, get, on with, uh, get on with life. But uh, Canberra's such a great city. If you have not seen the Emily exhibition at oh. the National oh. Gallery, Go. I'll shoot that tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Awesome. It is extraordinary. Right. She started doing this work at age 70, and there's fabrics, and you just see the development of her artwork, and it, it's just magnificent. Now, last time I saw you was at the Foo Fighters gig, and tonight Australia's preparing for one of the biggest shows in our history, Taylor Swift at the MCG. Three nights at the MCG, four nights in Sydney. Are you popping into one of these shows? Well, I have been invited to attend uh, the, one of the Sydney concerts. Uh, I, I really like uh, her her music. I, I I'm, a, I'm a late convert. I was converted. So, yes, like Blackers. Uh, yeah. Folklore concert, uh, folklore, uh, and Evermore um, uh, albums that she put out at once. And I on, on my Spotify list last year, I was. Uh, Surprise that she came in at number two. Uh, oh, wow. Year. 
uh, because wow, you swifty on the traveling round and all of that. Well, I've always played uh, "Shake It Off," which is actually a great feminist anthem. Uh, it's a wonderful I, song. When I used to DJ, uh, as, yes. as a, a great fun thing, and when it, when I sometimes at local schools, like Annandale Public School, and there's schools that do various fundraisers, I drop in. You play that, and just what particularly the young girls. Oh, the crowd the will go off. Well, we'll, well we're going to have a friendship bracelet crazy. for you when we're there next Friday yeah. night. And I think you Sydney should show. say "Shake It Off" to the opposition next time you're in Question Time. That'll Boom. go down real well. well I, I did, uh, uh, I did drop a, a, a Swifty reference of Shake It Off during the last election campaign. Oh, brilliant. And, uh, brilliant. I got, uh, I got my campaign director actually told me I was dropping too many musical <laughs> references uh, because I, I dropped on the day the election was announced. I, I finished the press conference with, hey, ho, let's go. And <laughs> I decided that... Uh, no, enough of the musical references. You've done it three t- three days in a row. We but love it. Well, I'm anyway. glad you went with that and not, I say out too late, got nothing in my brain. <laughs> or even that My Neck, My Back song, that would have been inappropriate. Oh, yeah, My Neck, My yeah. Back, you can't um, do that. Uh, but we have to go, mate, but um, we'll look after your your work city of Canberra. Um, thank you for having us. Parliament House looks glorious right now. Yes. And, and we might see you at Taylor is, next week when we're there. It is a great city. Enjoy Canberra. Thank we you, will. and congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. If you need that DJ, I'll, you hit me up on, on, on one of the apps, okay? I think he's lost your number. Oh, okay, bye. How weird. <laughs> Thanks, Albo. Done. I've got, I've got your real number. I'll text you. <laughs> you do. Ah! <laughs> you do. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks you, so mate. much. See you, guys. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel <laughs> on Nova. We can have a little couch at the front. We'll have a friend's moment. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel driving you home on Nova. Oh, we were walking like Egyptians here in Canberra today. You know what we did? We were so classy today at the National Museum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We were so cultured in Canberra. I felt so smart walking around there. I know. We went to the Ancient Egypt exhibition. I didn't even see Molly Meldrum once. I know. But it must have been nice to catch up with the old school mates. Yeah. Oh, you have been. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was cool. You have been a nightmare all day. (laughs) That's not true. I'm the, I'm the motivator on this trip. The motivator? You're walking around in your pyjamas dressed like you're in Ibiza. No. Not the nation's capital. It's warm. It's summer. It's, it's not so warm. hot. And we're on a balcony recording a show. And you're barefoot still. I know. Which is ridiculous. Wait, my feet are getting hot. <laughs> Put some coke in the water. Swelling. <laughs> <laughs> They're swelling up, guys. Watch out. <laughs> a little nutty professor situation happening over here. In a foodie wonderland, which I'm doing right now with Joel on the couch having some chips. With yes, a side of world-class oh, art. We did that breathtaking nature and family fun all within easy reach. Of course, it's Canberra. There's more than they're telling us. Yes. So many great, re- so many great restaurants. Easy for you to say. Great bars, as you took us here last night. I took. Uh, well, did you have a good night? Yes. So, yeah, thank you very much, Joel Crazy. Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel yes! on Nova. Joel live today on a Friday afternoon from Canberra. And we are fueling your Friday with that song. Thanks to Shell V Power. How good is that song? It's a good song. Every caller on the show today gets a $100 Coles Express card. Yeah, Shell's. What? Michelle's Cold Express card. Oh, Michelle's. Oh, Michelle's one. Oh, she's a generous. Michelle Cold oh. Express gift card, of course. Joel Crazy, I'm seeing way too much skin in here. Firstly, your socks are on my wallet. They're and- not. <laughs> I've moved your wallet. And secondly, your leg is distracted. And I love that you're like hiding your feet under the couch cushion. Yeah. I'm well, not he, hiding he, my, he told my me bad boys. So look, at these, feet out before. look at these veiny, chody feet. <laughs> oh, please. You're gorgeous. You're beautiful, Ricky. Stop it. You're beautiful. <laughs> I can't go up to um, <laughs> Look over here, Tim. Um, 13, 24, 10. <laughs> Why won't you look at me? Do you remember your first look kiss? Look at my feet. I do remember my first kiss. It was with a girl called Courtney. What? And Hang on. Whoa, stop the presses. <laughs> yeah. At Courtney. Oh, my God. Not near the chips. <laughs> oh, here are the feet. Hello. <laughs> See, I need some tone up. Oh, oh, there's your comedy chip <laughs> Um... <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, with a girl called Courtney when I was 14. Oh, my God. Was that, did that gross you out? Um, she really grabbed my face and went in, like like a lot of times. That's nice when you grab someone's face when you kiss them, though, don't you? I don't it's mind It's quite it. passionate. Yeah, mm. or the little rub behind the head. Oh, yes, always. Mm, romantic. Yeah. Um, Ask me who my first kiss was with. Who was your her first kiss with? Aaron Cheney. Oh, my God. <laughs> that, ga- that gag survived Mr. another Cheney. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was weird. Well, so- G'day, Aaron. 
Oh, God. You're listening. <laughs> Scientists, they've, um, well, they suggested that the first human kiss happened four and a half thousand years ago after discovering new evidence. Oh, stop looking at me like that. You are the worst person <laughs> oh, I've ever met. <laughs> oh, is, is that, that is, is that John Lennon and Yoko? <laughs> yeah. Also, this is the this, this, is, like a case. this is a national radio show, and you're standing in front of us presenting a laptop. I'm dead. This Thanks, is so Jermaine. funny. Thanks, Thanks Jermaine. Jermaine Devars. Well, this was a study published in the journal Science. The name of the journal. Full Just, stop. <laughs> yeah, Science. Straight to the point. Oh wow! Stop Someone chucked Blackwell. a leg over. Um, and it points to evidence of kissing in the early Mesopotamian societies. Mesopotamian, okay, um, which has been documented documented in ancient texts from two thousand five hundred BCE. Go on, no, kiss, kiss not, not after last night. Not after last night. Might Chuck catch a leg over. Oh my god, that's right. Oh my yeah. gosh. Who knew Jermaine, apps worked in Canberra? I mean, we <laughs> arrived in Canberra and immediately <laughs> you were getting. Yeah, you got Dugadung straight away. Yeah, this is and a then you got Dugadung as well. Um, the researchers also believe that they, the early spread of orally transmitted diseases, Jermaine, Jermaine, you might want to get to a clinic, is because of the kissing. Jermaine, did you kiss. You know what you got a photo of? Did you kiss that? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, your room was certainly Mesopotamia after that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Emma, hello, Emma. Uh, welcome to the show from Canberra today. Is Hi, it Emma? Emma. Hey, Emma. Hello. Hi. How Hi. are you? Good, thank you. I've got a good first kiss story for you. Ooh, yes, Emma. Spill. How old were you first? Can we ask that? Well, this was not my first kiss. This was my fiance and I's first kiss together. Oh, oh yes. So, it was our first date. We had just had dinner. We were going for yeah. a nice romantic stroll along the Yarra River in Melbourne. Oh, gorgeous. He, lean, he leans in for our first kiss. Yeah. But mid-kiss, he kind of, like, pulled back a bit. So I'm obviously <gasps> immediately thinking, oh, my God, am I that bad a kisser? Like, yeah. Like, he has regret. Um, but then he just goes, I think a bird just shat on my head. No. <laughs> no. Isn't you know, that really good luck? Yeah, this- well, that's it. It's good luck, and it obviously is because we're now getting married. So, there oh, you go. congratulations, Emma! If you need Thank a wedding you. MC, let me know. I'll do you good right, Ricky Lee. Yes. Well, it's in Perth as well, so your hometown. Oh, she lo- oh, love. Oh, Perth. oh, yeah. oh yeah, she yeah, loves doing Perth. that flight. I love Perth. Yeah. Thanks, Emma. Yes, That's so romantic. No problem. <laughs> I wonder if tonight we've got tickets to Taylor Swift, right? Yes. Thank you, Emma. Um, we've got, Surely there's people that are going to have their first because, kiss at the concert. And also, yes. guess what happens during Love Story? People propose. <gasps> oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh! And it's yeah, hundred thousand people. So the chances are high. Yeah. Yeah. Statistically, you're right. Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel <laughs> on Nova. Happy Friday, I had friends. Some funky dreams last night after I ate all your cheese. What were you? I what know. were you dreaming about? Well, I ate all the cheese that was in Blacker's room, and yeah. then I went to bed uh, for about an hour, and then, like in my sleep, got up and got the cheese in my room and finished that off oh, as well. You have cheese dreams. Cheese dreams. I also, have meat dreams. Yes, that's it feels right. like you brought some of that cottage cheese with you today. Oh my god! Oh please! <laughs> you wish you had pins like these. <laughs> you not your little good legs. Not your little chicken legs. I don't know how you get around on them. Bye, bells. <laughs> And I've got what that photo of your arm as well what? that I took oh last night. Oh, my gosh. Night. Also, I think we're, like, sitting on um, uh, a rug oh. that is transferring onto all of our clothes, which yeah. is really fun. That's why I'm sitting like this. Yeah. Okay. I need to do that. I think it's a workplace health and safety issue that I can see that much of your thigh. Should I get back oh, on the bed? Okay. I'm going to get back on the okay, bed. Okay, let's yeah. do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. New Music Friday. Hey-o! Now, before we get into your suggestions and your picks... I've been handed a little teaser grab Ooh. of something that's coming out real Ooh. soon. Oh, oh my this gosh. Is exciting. Is this what I think it is? And we got a lucky little taste of this, Joel, in the um, the van yesterday. Ricky, I'm saying it now. Oh, this me. is going to be a huge hit. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Put this. March 1 in your diary for a start. Well, you've obviously got it in I've your diary. I've got it in my diary. But, but yeah, I, is this my song? March 1. Oh, this, this song is so being released. Right. I, I, like, genuinely, Rick, this is going to be huge. Thank Here's you. a little taste of I Was Made For Loving You. Ricky <gasps> Lee on Nova. <laughs> Sounds a little familiar, don't you think? I love it. So good. March 1 it comes out. 
I reckon we'll give it a spin on Nova and Mark one. Yeah. Hopefully. Can I, do my traditional thing? Can I do my traditional thing where I play it twice in a row? Do and it, Everyone gets a little bit annoyed with that, but I like it. It's Can very exciting. It's the, the, the fourth single from the new album, which is out on the 8th of March. Yeah. And I just, I felt like this was just a banger to release right before it's the album. It's a banger. It's fun. It's feel good. It's anthemic. Yeah. Is it, can you pre-order now? You can pre-save it. So you just go to my Instagram it. and you can pre-save it and it, turns up in your Spotify on the day of release. Oh, my God. Can you please move your head out of the way, Tim? Okay. Oh, Tim, Tim are, you, are you, like, like really sexually attracted to me I in Canberra? Because the way you are acting is, is you're trying to, like, play the ice queen, but I know exactly yeah, what you you're doing. Yeah, you fashioned your entire body to face Joel, and I'm getting the cold shoulder. Okay, yeah. I'll be completely honest with you. Absolutely not. And I'm sorry, I'll turn around. Absolutely not. Is it because I've got my feet out? A little is bit. That- a little bit. <laughs> now, um... This band, New Music Friday, yes. I'm continuing. It's my favourite Australian band at the moment, Royal Otis. I heard you talking they, about them last week. Taking yes. the world by storm. Yep. Are they, they in huge. the country? They're from Sydney, mate. <laughs> I'm just trying to help, They're buddy. playing at Liberty Hall in Sydney tonight. <laughs> Sold out show. Um, you can check them out on my podcast today too, the boys from Royal Otis on introducing. Oh, yeah, this I'll totally be listening to that. is a little song called Foam. Have a listen to this. <laughs> Phone. They're brilliant. The like album this. Pratt's and Pain is out today as well. So good. Well, that's, that's my good. little pick. I like that a lot. Very cool. Very cool. And thank God guitars are back. Thank God for Royal Lotus. What do you got, Jock? Did they ever go anywhere though? A little bit. Yeah. Did they? Yeah. Oh, have they been around a while? But guitars just in the charts. Oh, I see what you you're know yeah. saying. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've got a good one. Um, yes, and of course we already know from Ariana Grande, yeah. but she has done a collab with Mariah Carey. No, on I it. saw this on Instagram. I actually yes. just come out. A a remix. Four o'clock today. Yeah, it's a remix of the song, um, and Ariana Grande said, "I can't believe the words I'm typing." Yes, and featuring the one and only Queen of my heart and lifelong inspiration, Mariah Carey. Have a listen. Oh my Yeah, you don't like that song to start with. I don't like Ariana Grande. Ooh. Uh, stop. Don't. I just don't think I do. You Jack know. will punch you out for that. Well, that's okay. You like in that. my throat? Yeah. <laughs> punch me in my throat. <laughs> There's not one Ariana Grande song that you like? Not even one. What? Get out. Like, absolutely none. Like, what? Ne- what about yes. Bang Bang with Jesse J and... Okay. Bang Bang into the room. That's right. Is that her? That's Jesse J and who's the other one? Is that Nicki Minaj? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. And I'm going to show you how to marry me. Okay, last one. What are we going oh, out so with? So I am very excited. This is the new Dua Lipa single, Training Season. Yeah, like six season. the new song from her new album. Yeah. And there's a music video on everything that's come out. It's, it's very cool. I love Dua. <laughs> Yes, we'll leave you with that. Come back with Glossies. That's Dua Lipa. That's New Music Friday. On Nova. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Let's go. On Nova. This is quite fun, laying down on I a know, bed doing, doing a show. Show horizontal. Well, I <laughs> sat I sat down before on the rug, and you know sometimes when you sit on the ground and all the little fibers and hairs they've gone into my leggings, and now I'm itchy, <laughs> oh, no. and now I want to run and no, I shouldn't say that. No, don't do that. <laughs> you um, jump in a pool. But yes, if you are just joining us, jump in a pool slash like, a shower. Why are they sounding so fun and chilled at the moment? It's because we're in Canberra. We're yes, live. we reclined. We, 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 you and I are on a couch. Ricky's on a bed. This couch reminds me of my old apartment. I'm a, I'm oh my god, it just doesn't have the arm <laughs> yeah. rests. No, I know, I'm sure it's a arm rest. It's but how how funny is Canberra? I've had such a good day today. Yeah. Yeah. Canberra's the best. I love it. And the it's, restaurants are great. I mean, the yeah. cheese is repeating on me a bit, but apart from that. But this morning we went to the museum. Is it was it the museum that we went to? 
Yeah. Frank cupping room. That was amazing. Coffee's a and cupping seeing room. seeing the... Uh, All the, the artefacts. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. The ancient Egypt exhibition at the yes. National Gallery. And then what about our lunch at the uh, the Bent Spoke Brewery? Oh, that was delicious. Oh, that was amazing. Mm. Love a brewery. A brewery. I love a brewery. I love, I'm brewery, baby. I'm brewery, baby. Here, <laughs> let's do this. The Glossies. On screen. On screen. On screen. What's happening hi, in the world Jermaine. of Glossies? Oh, hi, intern Jermaine. Hi, Jermaine. Um, oh, that's Post Malone. Sure is. What's Posty up to? He is t- Teasing his first ever country song, which is a collaboration with Luke Combs. What's going on? Country is having a real moment. Oh, she is in fashion. Like Beyonce's just done. <gasps> Where did we get that recording from? Do the, you like me clapping with my feet? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fun. I'll have to listen to it in uh, better form, I guess. But uh, There's no release date yet for the song. Oh, interesting. Get it, Joel. Yeah, I've got all the Finger facts. on the pulse, yes, my goodness. Of course. You know me and my music. You are a music queen. Next glossy, please. What's happening here? Oh, my gosh, the, the Met Gala. Um, so they've announced the, the co-chairs of the Met Gala this year. Um, it's... Bad Bunny, Arme. Oh yeah. my god! Zendaya, Jennifer Lopez and Chris Hemsworth have been announced as co-chairs and the theme has been announced. I quite like this theme because sometimes they're a bit confusing. Scream. <laughs> no? Halloween. No, it's um the Garden of Time. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, gross. You so will they, would, would you think that they'd be looking <laughs> back at designers of in, in history back yeah. at what they've done their yeah. old collections and their vintage collections Gardens of time i'd come as jamie jury i think timothy chalamet is going as um <laughs> what's his name i can't even think of him costa no. jordi oh, do you think i'm gonna help you out today buddy <laughs> <laughs> do you think i'm gonna help you out <laughs> Well, in- artists. And, and, ja- and Jada Pinkett Smith's going as Dr. Harry Cooper. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> if, if George Costiatis isn't hosting the Met Gala this year, travesty. Oh my yeah. gosh. Good call, Robbed. actually. Robbed. Yeah. Good on you, bro. Next, Glossy, what's happening? <laughs> I don't know. You Tom tell me. Cruise. Yes, it is. What's she up to? Uh, well, Tom is. Um, well, he met his new girlfriend. What's her name again? Elsina Kriova. You all seen her around? <laughs> you all seen her? <laughs> at, you all seen her anywhere? At one of his infamous <laughs> London tea parties. I didn't know about Tom's London tea parties. Infamous tea parties. Tom. Yeah. I, in London. In London. Tom loves a tea party. Does they he? Lose. Oh, he, he, lo- he loves a lose tea party. Well, he's, he's, been ho- he's been hosting these tea parties at his Hyde Park penthouse. Yeah. And at one of the get-togethers, he um, he met um, Elsina. But yeah, there's speculation I, that Prince William and Kate have stopped by at one of his exclusive afternoon tears too. I always mm. wonder what Tom Cruise is up to, like on a daily basis. Like, where is he? What's he doing? Doing his own stunts. And movies. Stunts. Yeah, but like... When he wakes up in the morning, yeah, he's Tom. I think he's, he's just... quite in with the royals, though. He seems to be at a lot yeah. of their functions. Is that spit on your microphone. Oh my god! <laughs> Last glossy, please. What's it's happening? Fluff here? from the rug. <laughs> oh my god, Beyonce! What yes, is she doing? Did she yes, didn't really yes. something new. Did she oh another gosh. new thing? There's what rumors. Are you She's going on tour. Have you heard about this? Again? Actually, get horizontal because you're gonna you're gonna die. Act oh two. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh of my her god. Renaissance tour. Oh my god, oh my god. You might have to go overseas for that. Oh my god. Well, yeah. I, went, I, I went for the first one. I had to go to I had to go to Texas. I know, and you were holding them. I was holding them. You're holding I had to briskets. go to Texas to see her on her last tour because she didn't come to Australia. Act two is out at the end of March. Yes. What, Jermaine? Is this real? It's real. Yeah, it's real. Um, after the news, we are back in the jacuzzi from Canberra and also the last Taylor Swift tickets. Hang around. Book those flights, Ricky. It's Ricky Lake, Tim and Joel, live from Canberra. I'll be damned if I cannot dance with you. Come pour some liquor on me, honey, too. It's a real live boogie and a real live hold down. Don't be a come take it to the floor now. Ooh. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel <laughs> on Nova. <laughs> Tim and Joel. I don't know, gentlemen. It's Friday. It's Friday. On Nova. Shall we take a dip? Oh, yes. Here we are. Friday afternoon, just after knockoff time, live in Canberra. Are you listening to your album or something over there? <laughs> I'm, we're on air. We're I'm, on air, Ricky. We're on air, Ricky. Oh, across, no, around no. Australia from Canberra. No, yes. I'm doing, I'm actually getting, um, uh, I've got my show coming up in Melbourne. Oh, what? Palms, um, Palms, Palms, March 8. Palm Palms, Palms, March 8. Palms, Palms, Toby, Toby, Palms, 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 Palms. Um, and I'm getting all of the, the production through, so like all of the fun, like the opener for the show, and I'm getting Amazing. all the fun little transitions between the songs. Sorry. I'm, 
We'll be I there. I just have my noise cancelling AirPods. Oh, in. she's Sorry. always working, always Sorry. working, always on the go. You know, I ran into Ricky at about 6.30 this morning. We both did a run on um, Lake Burley Griffin together. Yeah, we were out running. <laughs> okay. What the people you see around here at this time of the morning? I was like, oh my gosh, what are you doing <laughs> Oh my God, I can't believe it. Is that you? Oh my goodness, no. Should we run together? Yes. Guys, guys, guys. The what? biggest show what? What? in Australian what? history. I'm saying it. Tonight at the MCG, Taylor's first. Oh my God. Of three shows at the MCG, then four in Sydney. Smallsy, after we finish at six, is there live at the MCG. Oh, good on you, Smalls. And He's we broadcasting have from the MCG. Yeah, mate. Imagine, da, 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 imagine da, 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 how those da, 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 people da, da. that have had their tickets for ages, they've got all their friendship bracelets, yeah. they've got their merch. How excited right now. We have the last be. tickets of ours around the corner. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. It's yes. nuts. La, 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 la. I've got some more Taylor facts for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, go. Get, jump in the jacuzzi, get yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah. I know I can feel the tension between us mm. and you, you just want your hands all over me. But um, the City of Melbourne and oh, I love the Lord Mayor of Melbourne, Sally Cat. They're estimating the tour will generate roughly $1.2 billion what? in economic value in Melbourne just alone. Melbourne. Yes. Oh, that's good for Lame My Culture. Oh my gosh, oh coffee, am I right? Oh my gosh, Lame My Culture. More cafes. Cafes in cafes. Oh, okay. What about laneways in laneways? Laneways in laneways in cafes in cafes. And graffiti on graffiti. Crown Towers is at 97% occupancy. We believe there might be someone staying there what would you to do say with that? the Why show. Why would you do that? Why would you say that? I think that? she's going to be perfectly safe. They're and they've ordered an extra... the tour, right? Yeah. So yeah. She, uh, surely she's up in yeah, like, I she's think, got the whole top floor or something. Yeah, I think people will put two and two together but they've ordered an extra 2,000 bottles of champagne for the weekend oh, I was Ricky oh going down I thought, were, I thought you were coming with me oh no, guys I'm doing the Sydney shows can you can you ship them to Sydney pop them on Taylor's jet and bring them up here in Canberra I had to order before you arrived <laughs> <laughs> now I want to know on 13 2014 um, like how committed to the gig are you because I, I mentioned this story earlier this week right yeah. that a friend of mine missed out on tickets like many people to Taylor Swift yeah. now she lives in Melbourne hi Maxie if you're listening hi um she decided, I'm just going to put my hand up and get a job with Frontier Touring. So she's That's going right. to all three shows at the MCG. That is such a brilliant idea. What a smart girl. So yes. clever. I'm not sure exactly what she's doing there. I think it's one of those jobs where it's Does like, she even know exactly I what she's no doing? Idea. Yeah. As long as she has a T-shirt on and a lanyard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. hopefully enough. she's not like outside the stadium. Yeah. And that, oh, you'd be annoyed if you were outside. Oh, bum. Now I work for Frontier. <laughs> <laughs> and didn't get any of the perks. No. <laughs> no. God, I got to shop on Monday now. I didn't see one Taylor Swift yeah, song. Yeah, you could be selling merch. That's right. $60 million of merch is oh, expected to be sold while she's here. $60 million of merch. $60 million just in merch alone. Oh, my God. You're just spewing out facts well, here. Well, our, our, right our Swifty Queen Gemma, who's going tonight, has yeah. written us a, a sheet full of facts. Do you have yeah. more facts on that sheet? A um, hundred thousand fans from across Australia are expected to travel to Sydney or Melbourne for the shows. Qantas and Jetstar have scheduled an extra 20,000 airline seats to get people across. Oh my goodness, where do they put them on the wings? Yeah, yeah. and 10,000 international fans are expected to be arriving. Okay, that's good. Okay, um, thanks everyone. <laughs> <laughs> 2410. Do you have any more facts? Yeah, no, back to more get fact. me back to Melbourne and to Rocky Horror, honestly. Get oh. me away from you, because you are a <laughs> real life horror. <laughs> <laughs> We're just having a laugh. Oh, Come on, we're please, in the jacuzzi. Buddy. Oh my goodness. Kiss and make up, you two. Next, Someone get over here. Call us and tell us how you. Ooh. Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel. Let's go. On Nova. This is the first time I've ever had a jacuzzi in the nation's capital. Nice, isn't it? I forgot I had to hold my microphone when no, I talk. I <laughs> Guys, it's I've lovely. got my feet hanging out of the jacuzzi. I know, you've got one unpainted nail. I know, and also those ankles, know, little ankles. Where are we going for dinner tonight, by the way? Do we know? Somewhere I can have my ankles out, hopefully. Okay. Ooh, oh, Rebel Rebel. Rebel. Out. Oh, Ooh. no. Don't, don't talk about the Roselle interchange. I oh, know. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> the rest of them will explode. Little Sydney joke for you. Um, Taylor Swift tonight, first of three shows at the MCG, then four in Sydney. It's going to be absolutely massive. I really want to know what she's doing in between the shows. You're obsessed with this. Well, between Melbourne and Sydney, she's got like four or five days. Maybe she'll go out to Dalesford or something nice. Oh, and see, see where Celine Dion got her coat. <laughs> she's pro- she's Burn Springs had oh, a no, massage. She, I was going to say maybe she'd be working on a new album, but she did just announce the new album, which would mean that it's finished already so maybe she's working on one that's going to come out in another two surely years. not working hopefully she's resting i would i would hope so but she's been working on this album while she's been touring i know she's amazing and, I, and I, I also heard i heard a rumor that travis will be coming to one of the sydney shows yes Ooh. yes oh my gosh please be our show oh my god can you, you imagine seeing his face on the Jumbo Last time or something? we were at a show together we saw the backstreet boys that's we're going right. on friday next week can you believe it 
Oh my gosh. We might see Travis. Hey, Travis. You know, oh, can you imagine? Hey, Travis. I, I would drop you like a sack of. Speaking of Celine Dion, I saw Celine Dion at the Katy Perry concert. Hang that on. sounds like the most awful night of all Wait, time. Wait, what? You saw Celine, <laughs> Celine at the Katy Dion Perry Dion was like a few rows back from me, surrounded by security, watching Katy Perry because she was performing in the same the- the theatre, <laughs> uh, Rod Laver Arena, a few nights later. Really? Yeah. Wow. Celine Dion. Celine Dion. How committed to the gig? My friend uh, decided she missed out on tickets to Sea Tales, which they got a job with Frontier Touring, I just for that. the tour, and he's going to all three shows uh, starting tonight at the MCG. Easy way to get tickets. I think people have sold organs to get tickets at this point. Hello, Katie. Hey, Katie. Hey, Katie. Hello. How are we going, Betches? So, Very we're a bit good. wet. Hi, Bash. Bash. And we're a bit pruney in the jacuzzi in Canberra. Well, how committed to the gig were you? So it was the Queen herself, Hey, Tay. Back in the day mm-hmm. at the Adelaide yes. Entertainment Centre, my sister and I had seen in previous shows that the screen goes black and then she pops yeah. up at the other end of the entertainment centre out of a platform. So as that <gasps> song was approaching, we moved ourselves to the back <gasps> near the platform ready to go and this road was girl. like, girls, come on, you've got to move on, you've got to move on, girls. I threw my little sister under the bus. I'm like, it's her first concert. You know, she just needs oh, a bit smart. of air. She's really overwhelmed. She let us stay there. <laughs> Next minute, the goddess herself <gasps> out of the platform right in front of me. Now, I like to think she was serenading just me, but there were other people she there. Was. But no, she for was. For a moment, it was just me and Tay-Tay. Oh, oh, my God, I love that so much. And are you going at all to any of the shows? I'm going to the Melbourne Night 2 show. I've got the sequins, I've got the bracelets, I've got the gals oh. ready. Go, yeah. Katie. What what yes. what era are you are you going dressed as? Good question. Um, I'm Ricky living Lee. my best reputation era, Ricky. I feel oh. Yes, you are. Hot. I like it. Brum, uh-huh. brum, brum. I love it. Um, thank you, Katie. What we're doing next, guess what? The last Taylor Swicket tickets? Swickets. The last Taylor Swicket. After this. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel <laughs> on Nova. Yeet. 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 Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Driving you home on Nova. Nelly Furtado, yes, yes, yes. You have a little fact about Nelly. She's, well, she's Canadian because she was the um, judge on the finale mm. of Canada's Drag Race the other day and the contestants lost their mind. I mean, she's a real queen. I feel like she's an underrated queen. And our, our very own Dom Dollar has featured her on a song too, oh, remember? Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Remember? I think she's got music coming out soon, Nelly. Does she? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's I feel like nothing's ever oh. going to beat Promiscuous Girl. Oh, I am a bird. Um, speaking of Nelly Potato, why are we doing? Why are we just playing oh, Nelly yes. Potato? Well, I thought you guys would love this yeah. story because there is um, a, 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 a seagull that has been caught on camera oh, right. puffing on a vape. Oh no, <laughs> seagulls on the lush ice. Right. Um, so it was standing on a car because you know, whatever zero F. Standing on a car. Standing yeah. well, not on even a car. The sea. And actually puffing on the vape. So I was like, oh, actually sucking puffing in on the vape. Yes. Oh, yes. Cool. We have a one-on-one that they call like a whimsy stick that dogs chew on, and, and girlfriend always walks around with it in, in her mouth. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, it's like she's a madman. Yeah, she's a rat bag teenager. She's on the vape. <laughs> Next, the last Taylor Swift tickets. We're going to do it on the night of her first oh show goodness. in Melbourne oh, after good luck. this. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. Friday afternoon, live from Canberra, the nation's capital. Now, yeah, you I'm studied move. international politics, didn't I, you? I studied um, political science and foreign affairs, majoring in American politics. Did you ever think that you would be in Canberra? Oh my doing God, a my radio dreams show. come true. Dream, let's go and hear how. Look, hear the how sun let's go out to the balcony. Has let's go come out. Hang on. How does this door work? Beautiful afternoon. How does the door work? Oh, yeah, pull, that way. pull, right. pull, pull, pull. Yeah. This, this is the sounds of Canberra, Hello, guys. Hello, Canberra. This is us. Remember what last time? It's us, Will and Woody. Hello. Last time we were on a balcony, we saw um, Ross Noble. Oh, I know. Who we see here? Oh my God, we're so high up. Wow. (laughs) It's Will and Woody and Jackie O. I don't like this. (laughs) This is way too high. I know. She's so high. High What's that thing over there? The orange? Is that like a bungee type situation? Is that the where we just were? Oh, that's Questacon. Oh, that looked like the roller coaster. Oh, yeah. Remember I made that funny joke when we came out? Oh, and I said, oh, yeah. I'm going to go on the roller coaster, You guys. are on fire. Thanks. I'm going back inside. Yeah. Um, okay, see ya. We're heading off to dinner tonight. Is it Rebel Rebel we're going to tonight? Can you come in and close the door, please? Yeah, no, see ya. Oh, Good great. Job. Oh, my uh, God. <laughs> we're on the balcony on our own now. I finally Why a chance is it so to talk. fun? Let's kiss. I know. <laughs> <laughs> my God. Uh, you can follow our adventures today. We did Quest to Comedy to the National Museum to see the uh, Ancient Egypt Let us exhibition. Back in. Nah. Hey, Rim. 
No, Hello. thanks. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, hi. Oh, thank, thanks, everyone. Thank thanks you. Everyone. Yeah, Questacon was so <laughs> okay, fun. Thanks, I, everyone. It's so strange to be on a trip with you guys and learn something. What'd you learn? You shouldn't wear that outfit in public again? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I am about to kick you in the throat. See you soon. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Let's go. On Nova. We are groovy. We are hey, moments away you. from flicking the switch to the MCG. The Smalls is down there. The... Just flicking the switch. Oh, okay. Yeah, but right now, let's do this. Hello. Can you put me through to the guy? Caller of the week. And so many great calls this week, as always. As always. Um, remember we talked about corn couples because at the start of the week it was all about oh, Travis yeah. and Taylor. Corny couples. I, re- I, I was just reading this sheet and I thought it was horny. Oh, oh, no, we got this from Mel. Oh, pick this week. We were the corny, horny couple. I had won a trip to go and see the Socceroos in Germany some years back. We celebrated that win when I got home to share the news with my partner. And about a month later, we went on the trip. And when I came home, peed on a stick and I was pregnant. Oh, whoa, oh. Mel. Congratulations, Mel. You are our Caller of the Week. Well done. Yes, congratulations, Mel. You've won our third Caller of the Week month for 2023 and we'll also send you our $100 Shell Coles Express gift card. Oh, amazing. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel's Week in Review. We started the week with Ricky giving us the rundown on why she was dressed in her comfy shoes. I've come in today in my slides that are like pillows and Heaven. because I've spent the last three nights in heels, so... Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I've spent the last three days in navy blue Crocs. Gross. What? Yeah. Remember what I saw? Do you have gout or something? Are you serious? I have comfort issues. I'm a dad. <laughs> <laughs> then Joel started imagining what his big day might look like. Maybe this will be my first dance song. To what? For my wedding. I'm, oh, not, I'm not engaged or anything, but... No, it's um, it's going to be Cindy Lauper. Are you, um, time are after you getting time married? After time, but oh, this is a wonderful. I knew song. I should have voted no. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh please, you would have voted yes for the party. I'm going to throw. <laughs> And after Usher's messy Super Bowl performance, Ricky and Joel thought they'd give it a crack. Put your hands up, bend your knees, turn around in the circle, get down with me. Oh, come on, come on, it's not hard to learn. Come on, come on, it's all the you That's worse. I'd actually rather hear the Usher. And what do you know? The guys are now looking at doing pranks. Some, like, pranks or something just to really... We like that. Yeah, let's do. Let's start doing prank calls and stunts. Yeah. I put a secret mic in your car for the drive-in, so we're going to play that after five. Good luck. <laughs> you won't be able to play any of it. Actually, this is a grab of it now. Yeah. <laughs> I was just talking to my mum. <laughs> Tim and Justin Bieber are so similar that Joel had a bit of a moment. Oh, my God, are we waiting for Justin Bieber? Oh, my God. Oh Ricky Lee, Justin and Joel? Can you <laughs> sing? <laughs> not Ricky Lee, Justin. It's really not. Ricky Lee, Justin and Joel sounds like Ricky's working with, like, like this old gay couple, Justin and Joel Justin from Dallas. And 100%. But... <laughs> and it's a podcast. <laughs> How Taylor and Travis Kell celebrated the Super Bowl win was a hot topic. It would have been a hell of a cuddle when they got back to the room, you know? Know what I'm saying? Oh, wouldn't it just? Touchdown. <laughs> Touchdown. Tight end? Tight behind? What oh, my God. Oh my god! Isn't that, what, isn't that what he is? Isn't Travis a tight, tight behind is. or a tight end? I don't know. Oh, I've not wow. met him. I a tight met him, I behind. I don't, I don't know that that was a position. He's a tight end. Isn't that great movie. Remember the tight ends? <laughs> <laughs> and Joel decided to throw some shade at Tim on the most romantic day of the year. That yeah, you were so kind of rude to me today. You walked in about eight seconds ago and you said, "Are you still doing radio?" Oh, you know it's my favourite <laughs> joke to do, to do you, but while we're on air, are you still? Are you, do you see radio in your future? Like, is that something? <laughs> You're going to Not on with? Valentine's Day, mate. This is <laughs> oh, yeah. Happy Valentine's Day, lovers. It's, big, oh, it's the big V today. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's have a three-way smooch. <laughs> Tim hit us with this graphic visual for Valentine's Day. Remember, I'm the middle in the Valentine's Day human centipede. <laughs> I'll just lean forward then, we, I guess. We go in show order, <laughs> which means I get best of both worlds. Yeah, I'm a I'm lucky at, duck. I'm at the back. Yes, you are. People always say to me, God, you have it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, in, I'm in the middle of the Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel human centipede. Yeah, um, Ricky also had some ideas on how this centipede thing might play out. Because I've got nothing in front of me. Yeah. Can I just maybe I'll live my dream mm. of eating a Big Mac? <laughs> oh, no, I don't want Big Mac oh. after it's come out of you. <laughs> oh, no. That is, that is special sauce. 
doors. <laughs> Oh, Ricky had some feedback about Tim's dance moves. Why are the shoulders touching your cheeks dance? when you do that? Yeah. That's not dancing. Oh, pr- oh you look like the shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Dance police here. I feel like dance detective. Me too. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. I'm some here some to shoulders. arrest someone for some terrible dancing. I think some shoulders are touching some ears around here. <laughs> what do you know about? And we finish the week with a visit from one of our favourites, Jess Malboy. Just like us. Name a dessert you would have ice cream with, starting with B. Uh, 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 Bavarian uh, fruit cake. What's that? Bavarian fruit cake. What a week on the Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel show. Let's kick off the weekend. That was the week. We are live in Canberra and let's finish. Oh my god, I got goosebumps. The MCG tonight's oh gonna go god, off. It's Enjoy happening. everybody. Hey, We're back Monday. See ya. And thanks for having us, Canberra. We okay, love you, thanks Canberra. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks everyone. No, he was a killer. First time that I saw him. Wonder how many girls he had loved and left haunted.